Hi there, I'm Valerie Milano, the publisher and senior editor of the Hollywood Times, and I'm so happy to have our guest today, and I'm going to let her introduce herself. Thank you, Valerie, and um, hi, everyone. Thank you for having me on the platform, Hollywood Times, and I'm excited. My name is Dr. Jacqueline Nguyen, and I am a clinical, retired clinical compounding pharmacist for the last 25 years, but the last 12 months one year, it sounds like a baby because I'm I'm having my first um, child um, being a producer for the first Vietnamese made movie in the U.S. that will be theatrically released in three countries, U.S. this tomorrow, literally, but this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, March 29, in 55 theaters. Vietnam, April 18, with 250 theater, and India, May 31st, with 100 theaters. So I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm super duper nervous because I don't know how my baby is going to turn out, whether <laughs> everyone will love it, will accept it, or everyone will just say, oh, it's not my taste. But so far, we got eight awards from this um, movie from all the film festival that we've been attending and participating. So I'm excited. I'm excited for you. It's such a beautiful and tragic film. Where does this story originate from and what was the inspiration behind A Fragile Flower? So the story was inspired by a true um, story of a well-known Vietnamese singer that already passed away in the 80s. It literally was from my script writer. She's a professional Vietnamese singer. That's her best friend. And because of her passing away, that's where she's been uh, writing the script for the last three years. And then she's been pairing it with her, wanting to make the movie until she met the right woman director. And myself, uh, came in as a, an investor and then now with all my connection becoming a producer for the movie. So, so you say, where does it originate it from? It basically originated from um, wanting to give our audience the platform to be able to um, share it to the whole world about a Vietnamese culture, a Vietnamese um beautiful um, platform for everyone to see and know uh, who we are and what we are about in the U.S., yes. Thank you. Well, during my watch, I was led to believe at times that Yvonne may be poisoned, Tao. I definitely believed that she poisoned Sun uh, during their dinner toward the end of the film. <laughs> You watch that and you thought that she's poisoned son. <laughs> she loves him. It was all about jealousy, babe. Yep. Was Yvonne intentionally meant to come across as duplicitous in that way? Yes. She was supposed to be a powerful businesswoman, cunning, savvy, and very, very uh, jealous of any woman that that one thing that that wanting to look at her men in a different way, and so yes, that's definitely um, yeah. she wants to portray in there as as that role, that character. Why did you find? And she did a good job, right, babe? Yeah, definitely. Why did you want uh, create the stories in the tabloids? Because uh, at times it seemed as though she pushed. Sun and Tao closer together, which is the opposite of what she wanted. No, she she just want to sell uh, her music video and she just want to do well with her businesses. And that's where she's utilizing the tabloid, creating the sensation. So that way she can be able to sell more uh, video out of that. Was Tao's marriage to not yeah, no. the musician? No, it's not the easier option. So in this movie, the main actress is also a professional singer portraying in this movie where through her life 
and from singing in church choir that everyone recognized her voice and she get to sing the pinnacle of her life is that she gets to sing on a big stage of 4,000 people. But through this whole process, she has four men that loves her. And each one of them love her in a different way. So, but her heart, of so heart, I think she didn't love Sung, but I think she see a fatherly figure in Sung because her, her parents passed away so soon in an accident. So to me, I think that she see that in Sung, in sort of the fa fatherly figure, but she could not bypass the the moral and the right thing to do when she prayed to God and she knows that this is not the right thing for her to do to break up someone's family and marriage and then marrying son. So, and then on top of it, you know, there's so many other reasons behind it that ultimately, I think this movie, it has so many layer and so much good messages come out of it that I think all human, all mankind or every single human being, if we go see this movie, we would appreciate like there is that that greater love out there. Whether it comes from the main actress, Patao, or whether it's from the four men that love her. To me, I feel like the musician Ngoc, he loves her unconditionally. He knows that her heart belongs to Sung, but he still wants to be her eyes. He still he still wants to be next to her and that's more than enough to take care of her and to support her through her dark times that she's going through. Yeah. But everyone loves her in a different way. So to me, I, I felt like men or women, if we see this movie, we we all can relate it in in what's one one way or another. Don't you agree, Valerie? I do I definitely do. I enjoyed it tremendously. I have another question though on on the note of of, of why didn't she choose to be her true love in her final days? Why didn't she choose to be with her true love in her final days? Because of her value with God, she cannot do the wrong thing. So that's why even though when Sung came and confessed to her, she she's happy. But at the same time, she knows she's she has a terminal illness. So why would she choose to break up someone's marriage like that? Mm -hmm. So that's where she realized that. I have to do the right thing, even though I love Sung, but that's gonna break up someone's family, someone's marriage. The wardrobe was absolutely stunning. How intensive was the wardrobing process? Let me tell you, Valerie, and to all the audience out there, because this is the first ever made Vietnamese movie, in the U.S., and we have to share with everyone so that you can go and look forward to it. We didn't have a designer, per se, in this, where the director and the two designers in this movie were our friends. The, the gay guy, me, the gay guy that was um, the helper for the, the designer in there, Maya, He's actually the real designer that put together the whole wardrobe for the, the main character and for the for Yvonne. Everyone else, it's just they take the lead and we tell them, you got to dress up for this big event at uh, a mentions. Then people would dress up because they know in their head they got to look good somewhere, somehow on the big screen. So I have to tell you that. I guess with our culture, we kind of know that when we prep them what event they're going to, then they know how to dress up properly. So this is the real true, guys, because technically we're supposed to have like a wardrobe coordinator or we have some, supposed to have like a designer for the movie set, right? We didn't have the budget for it. And I was worried 
But luckily, myself, my director, we kind of guide everyone for each of the scene that was shooting for that day, what they should dress up like, and the theme for the color and all of that. So we kind of coordinated among ourselves, and we just go on the fly. And everybody loves it. So I do have to give credit to my designer in the movie, which is Jackie Tai. That's his real name in real life. He's a fabulous designer in the community. But at the same time in the movie, he play a role of that gay guy assisting Maya, the designer. So, so that's him. Oh, Dr. J, that is so interesting. Because I was <laughs> so impressed with it all. Wonderful. Oh, my goodness. I got to see it again just to... Just check it out, you know? Babe, you got to see it in theater. Otherwise, it's not the same because the, the music, the sound, when you watch it in Dolby system, IMAX, oh, my God, it will <laughs> blow you away. All of my friends, after they see it, you know, on a small screen, and then when they see it okay. on a big screen, they will be like, oh, yeah. my God, that's crazy. That makes a big difference to see it on the big screen. Well, well, I am just so impressed, and I am so happy that I got to talk to you before the international, nationwide premiere in two days and on the 29th. But this is yes. such a big deal for this film and for you and for all the people that were involved. I'm just, just thrilled to be able to meet you and be able to be one of the lucky ones that's seen this wonderful project that you put together. And... We are the Hollywood Times dot today. The Hollywood Times, we're the also the Hollywood Times official is our YouTube channel. Hollywoodtimes.net. And Dr. J, I hope one day we can meet in person because you're so impressive. And definitely, um, I hope so too. Yes, let's let's get together when this yes. whole thing blows up and 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 be Have a party. Um, <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay. I've been called a trailblazer for for doing the crazy and the impossible and making it possible. So for me, okay. I hope that I can pay the wave for all of the women out there, especially with March International Women's Month, that dream big and go for it. You never know. You can be able to make it. Uh, if, why, why? Why wouldn't you not try? At least you tried and you would know. How can our viewers and our readers find you, find out more about the film, uh, your website, your social media? Let, let us know right now how, how we can find more information. Yes. So if you want to know more about a fragile flower movie that will be theatrically released in... Um, all of the theater throughout the United States, and you can be able to find whether your nearby theater play a fragile flower. Just go on to our website for the movie, www.afragileflower.com. And you can be able to click on English where it will have the English page or Vietnamese where it will have the Vietnamese page. And just scroll down, you will see all of the link for the theater that you can be able to go see whether you log on to Fandango, AMC, Regal, Cinemax, you just type in a fragile flower and they will pop up for you to see whether the showtimes or nearby theater that is showing the movie. And um, you can be able to go on, besides the website, social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, a fragile flower official on Facebook and a fragile flower for Instagram and you can be able to learn more about the movie. So please, please come out and support our first ever made Vietnamese movie that has English subtitles so you can be able to understand it. And Valerie, you appreciate the story and you understand the whole storyline, right? Yes, definitely. I've been I've just been so excited to to spread the word. So we will do that with our article and you'll read it. So thank you. Thank Dr. you again. All right. Have a good Thank you, time. Valerie. Thank you for All having right. me on the platform. Yes. And thank you for your time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.